What underpins a world order is always the financial system. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private. But what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. The type of money that can only be spent for a specific number of reasons. And some worry about that state control or whatever. But like in this particular uh, narrow use case, you want to give uh, checks to individuals to get the economy moving again. Yeah. So if you think of programmable money that expires if you don't spend it, this afternoon, the Secretary General and Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, will, sign a, will witness the signing of a memorandum of understanding on a strategic partnership between the UN and the World Economic Forum, which outlines areas of cooperation to deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. Again, I think that the biggest question, in, in, maybe in economics and politics of the coming decades, will be what to do with all these useless people. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology, and I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is shadow banned. Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events, and then also I give you the New Road Order cryptos. But, of course, you have to do your own research. But, guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. 
And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin and cryptos bouncing off the lows. Right now, the market is flat. Don't forget CME opens tonight so we know the market is going to move. And then again in the morning, once yield rates start moving, we know it's going to let us know which way the stock market and cryptos are going to be going. But guys, we are getting big news coming out of the emerging market. And we see the NWO's plan coming together. So guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We had yield rates on Friday, which were flat. We had the dollar, which was slightly down. We have volume tether USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $2.2 trillion, And we know the central banks are raising rates and running off the balance sheet. So therefore, they can destroy the legacy market so the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And I know a lot of you, when I made that statement, you probably laughed. Now we're seeing it all come together. And we know the last piece of this is AI. And we know when crypto first came on the scene, that's all we heard from top developers or top corporations that the internet didn't have money. And guys, why does the internet need money? That's right for the machine takeover. And we see Google, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Walmart, NVIDIA, just to name a few. And a lot of your franchise restaurants like McDonald's. They want the robots, algorithms, and drones to take the economy over. But on the surface, guys, majority of people just see greed. There's corporations not wanting to pay the people. But those who understand the spiritual warfare understand the bigger mission. And like I stated, guys, this is the easiest way to do depopulation because we know majority of people are going to get rid of themselves. My people perish from the lack of knowledge because they reject it. Not because it's not there, because they reject it, and we know the Most High is definitely going to reject them. We know majority of the masses are distracted on things that don't matter, and we can clearly see over the emerging markets, big things are happening in order to bring in this fourth industrial revolution. And remember the crypto teacher told you, now, guys, don't forget about Grayscale sending about $23.3 billion. And, guys, we're going to have a roller coaster ride this week. We know we have back on Thursday. Then we have CME Bitcoin futures on Friday. So, of course, Bitcoin, micro Bitcoin, Ethereum, micro Ethereum. We know this moves like clockwork. But then on top of it, guys, earlier in the month, which I think May 2nd, May 3rd, the Fed meets. That normally doesn't happen earlier on in the month. So guys, we know when the Fed is in the house, we know the markets like to look decent. But then on top of it, guys, we know we have open interest. We know they need Bitcoin on the 5th. But guys, we know we're going to start pulling back over the second half of the year. So I don't see us having a big pump. But getting over into a little crypto news, and guys, this is big news. We have Zimbabwe to introduce a gold-backed digital currency to stabilize its currency against the dollar. And guys, do I think that we're going to start having gold-backed digital currencies? No, I do not. But they can definitely make a certain percentage of its currency to be gold-backed. But I definitely don't see that going on in the fourth industrial revolution, because remember, universal basic income and when you're looking at tokenization it's going to allow them to airdrop free money to the globe and we know in this current united states dollar system monopoly we know it's not real and definitely when we move over to tokenization it's going to be monopoly 2.0 because remember this money is going to be programmable giving the nwo even more power they'll be able to tell you what where and when and how to buy and you have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. And it doesn't matter what country you go to. They all are saying the same thing, guys. When we look at IMF, when we look at the World Economic Forum, they all say the same thing when it comes to programmable money. So this is a global agenda. Remember, guys, the fourth industrial revolution is the go. You cannot keep your eye off of that. 
And then lastly, guys, we have starting in May, government employees of Chinese city Changshu will be paid salaries and CBDC. And guys, we know this is just China's testing round. We know that the CBDC goes live next year and we know it'll be fully pumping in 2025. And we know the United States is going to be following right behind them in 2025. And guys, if you have my NWO book, you probably thought none of this stuff would come true. When I first started this channel, you probably said none of this stuff is going to come true. And now all of it is coming true right in front of your eyes. This is no longer a conspiracy, guys. This is definitely biblical. And remember the crypto teacher told you because, you know, when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. It's crypto teacher and the New World Order book. Plus the three kids books is time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks. The see with the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim, save the village. Part 2, King Joshua and Grandma Tim, save New York. Long COVID-33, Part 3, King Joshua and Grandma Tim, goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.